this is my review of the book Ghosts from Our Past, both literally and figuratively. The study of the paranormal by Erin Gilbert, which is played by Kristen Wig and Abby Yates, which is uh, Melissa McCarthy um, character in the Paul Fee Ghostbusters film, with um, Andrew Schaefer, newly revised and somewhat updated. Yeah, it, this is um, uh, a replica book with varying differences to compared to the actual book that featured in the film. And the one thing that the fascinating me about the film is the book. I was involved with the book in the film so much I was saying how do you get it and track it down off a, for a specialist um, site that does um, books and that. And one thing that is so fascinating about this book is at the back he got a picture of um, um, McCarthy and Wig both together, which both, which the picture shows up in the credits whatever of the film. Yeah, it's got loads of um, anecdotes and loads of them um, references and etc. It's not entirely film accurate, but it's got a flavoured um, mentions of the film, but most of it's just basically quizzes of um, knowledge of testing your IQ of what you know of the field and etc. Yeah, chapter three, the Metaphysical Examination Society, our story, which is uh, which was the company that Christian Greek character Erin Gilbert say metaphysical something 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 something. something. Uh, try to uh, 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 coordinate to, to, to um, uh, Chris Hemsworth's character did the witty twit um, Kevin uh, uh, he couldn't figure what it is it's the second time and I sort of said hello Ghostbusters and everything else which is a She's got other things in this book. New forward, uh, as chairman of the Council of Phologic and Data, I devote dozens of paranormal practices over the years and remembered the famous episode of The Tonight Show where the skeptic exposed Yuri Gala hands free spoon bending as a stage trick. That wasn't me, it was James <laughs> Randy. But whenever he wasn't available, the networks used to ring up old Marty S, which is the Bill Murray character. No one's called me in a while. Someone obviously forgot to pass along my number to Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> oh, God, Lord, this is so freaking hilarious. Anyway, I thought I'd seen just about everything, and then along come the Ghostbusters at the CLD's annual non denominational winter holiday office party last year. God knows what that means. I received a copy from Ghost of Our Passes, which is their actual book in the film, as a white elephant. Ouch! <laughs> Gift. Everyone had a good laugh at it. 
And that was just from reading the synopsis aloud. Later that night, Wells nursing a bottle of eggnog, which is a drink made of um, parts of egg and so much other things. It's a common tradition in America during the Christmas season. It's not very well known drink in the United Kingdom. Yes, we have a variant of that. To, 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 to them, etc. <laughs> um, where was I? Yeah, by the fireplace at my home in the Upper West Side. I casually flipped through the massive tom. Ghost from our past was high <laughs> literature, although it may have been written for a while. In that state of mind, report, reportedly at work of serious scientific inquiry, the personal asides and run on sentences and the numerous digressions distracted from whatever points up by the points the authors were attempting to make. My he laughed soon gave the way to second-hand embarrassment. Parapsychology has always existed on the fringes of the academic world, but rarely has been has it been uh, tackled by uh, anyone so qualified, unqualified. Their work uh, wasn't peer-reviewed. Peer, peer <laughs> Because they didn't have peers. They were all of 22 when they wrote it and with nothing more than undergrad and degrees from a big 10 school. Ghost from our bus was either the worst kind of hokum or an elaborate joke for the benefit, uh, I hope. For the latter, yeah, the whole um, history about this book many years ago, before um, Erin Gilbert um, try to um, move from from that um, aspect of her life, she wanted to. Become a tenured professor at the university she worked. Years before that, her and um, Abby collaborated on a book which nobody took her seriously. Her character backstory is when she was young, her next son neighbor died and she manifested as a ghost. He was visiting her every night. She tried to um, explain to everybody she did see ghosts, nobody took her seriously. Then the whole book came to be, and uh, all of a sudden, Abby decided to put the book on Amazon, which she found out by the looking it up on the computer, which she trapped Abby at another university, which she got introduced to Abby's new partner, which is Gillian um, Holtzman, which is um, Kate McKinnon, and she had a Erin had a deal with to go with um, Abby and Gillian in the trade of the book to be pulled off. Then the sad loner, um, Rowan, who, who, who was a hotel attendant and uh, had the possession of the book and the draw uh, the sketches over it about the 
restore power, light the ley lines, and break the barrier as his way of um, his um, um, maniacal scheme and uh, rest is um, history. I read through this book and it was very entertaining, very good read, and the must have. Um, piece of memorabilia for for all um, movie um, collectors in the supernatural hot horror comedy field. It goes great on your uh, shelf with all the Ghostbusters memorabilia and etc. Yeah, it's a very good read, very entertaining and they are working at the back. is very awesome <laughs> and um, etc. Yeah, yeah, and it's full of um, knowledge and information and data and etc. And it's got a, a bit at the back where you can add your own notes and etc. Yeah, it, I'm gonna give ghosts from our passes by Erin Gilbert and Abby Yates, a 10 out of 10 must read. Uh